December 17th to 21st uh, of this past year. And the uh, strategy was to uh, use volunteer labor, and I recognize several faces in the room tonight, the people who were here. And the big build up. Next slide. The David Kevin. You folks have easily the oldest structure in the county, uh, older than Chieftains. Uh, it, uh, I think this date is good. Uh, there's uh, no reason for what I found today to, uh, to doubt it. You ask yourself again, why are there such big gaps? And if you look at these half dovetail joints, why are they so different from joint to joint? They're very crude. You see, whoever did this, didn't have a whole lot of experience uh, dealing with uh, logs for log cabins. These joints are different sizes. Uh, they are very crudely carved out. And I think it's because the cabin is very early. Where are the goods? Uh, where's the good stuff? How are you going to date this thing? Next slide, please. Those are the goods. Uh, we had 47 insurers of window glass. And not very spectacular, not very showy. Probably won't put this in your museum if you ever have one. And what we do is we get the average thickness of the glass. There's a formula that we can use to determine a manufactured date for the glass, which also, in most cases, gives us a fairly good construction date. In 1842, May 19th, Margaret Van, who was the wife of Avery Van, filed a claim for losses she had suffered at the hands of Creek Indians during the First Creek War of 1813-1814. She identified that she was living in 1813-14 on the south side of the Coosa River. She stated in her claim that at that time her husband was serving with a Cherokee company of soldiers was captained by David McNair. Uh, the witness to the claim was her son, David Van. In August of 1826, the survey crew passed through this area of Georgia and ended up in Beaver Dam, Beaver Pond area. And I'm excerpting here some of the comments that Richard Blunt made in his journal. He refers to David Van David Van has an excellent limestone spring, good second quality land, with advantageous something. Pay attention. On the road leading from the Chattahoochee to something in Alabama. You know the West. All right, now pay attention. Pat made a good point. The lot where the, the cabin's located doesn't show an improvement. But look what it says on this one. Indian improvement. The surveyors were supposed to mark Indian improvements to identify the improvements of Indians. And if you look at all those lots, this is what Vans Valley looks like, <coughs> according to that, where improvements were. Those would have been in. But everything I see points to the improvement named in that valuation is being owned by Avery and Charles Van to be the building that's right down the road. All indications point to the Vans. Thank you. I have to agree. Thank you. So, uh, I, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is another reason for a round of celebration.